Now, hey, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Survival Tent mod, which is being made by user Scotty Does Know. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is a simple little tent that you can chuck out into the world and, of course, use to both sleep and, more importantly, save while you're out and about adventuring in the wilds of the Commonwealth. And I do very much like this mod as it's basically a lightweight camping mod, which, if you're playing a survival playthrough, does mean you can more easily save wherever you are in the world. And it's, I mean, a pretty nice tent as well. It's one of the tents from Far Harbor. So you do, of course, need the prerequisite of a Far Harbor. But as you can see, it's, of course, a good looking tent. Now, what do we get in the actual pit boy? Well, it's actually a grenade, as with a lot of deployable mods we've seen in the past. And it's a pretty simple object, weighing in at a 24 for weight and for its grenade range of 93 but that's really not too important as this lump of a leather and cloth will we'll just make you a nice little tent and that's a handy handy thing to have now as for how you get your hands on one of these survival tents well it's quite simple you just need to go to any chemistry station in the world head on down to the utility category where you'll find the survival tent which is quite simply constructed with 16 cloth 12 leather and 8 steel now i do want to point out here that this is for the recoverable version of the tent. When you do install this mod, it actually does ask you if you want either the recoverable version of the tent or the disposable version of the tent. And if you do choose disposable, it's going to require less materials at uh, 8 cloth, 4 leather, and 6 steel. But... It's a disposable tent, so when you try and pick it up in the world, it will literally just turn into nothing. And that seems strange to me. Yes, the requirements are less, and also uh, I should mention the weight is less. The recoverable version is 24, whereas the disposable version is only 12. But still, it's a disposable tent. The whole purpose of a tent is to be picked up to be used again. So I honestly don't know why you'd want to go with that one. But hey, if you do, there you go. You do have that option. For me, though, it's recoverable all the way because if we actually head out of here to uh, show how it all works, it's pretty darn simple. It is, as mentioned, a grenade. So you just simply click on it to uh, use it as any other, chuck it into the world, and boom, there you go. You get a nice little smoky particle effect, and you have a tent. And to actually use it, you just need to get up close, hit E to activate, and you can choose to either sleep in the tent, which of course will allow you to do the passage of time, and again, more importantly, save. Or, of course, you can pick up the tent and recover it. Once again, though, only if you chose the recoverable tent option. For disposable, it will literally just destroy the tent. Though, that being said, one of the fun parts about this mod is you can have multiple tents strewn throughout the world that you can basically set up in strategic locations for you to return to, as they should stay in the world for quite a long time. Now, I don't know if it's permanently, and even on the mod page it doesn't seem to say whether it is permanent or not, but I've had these things go for a fair few days in the world without any incidents, and, well, if you do have the disposal version that may be the way you go just setting up a few base camps around the place but yes it's a simple little camping mod that adds in just one singular thing but it's one singular thing that is quite useful especially in a survival save so if you'd like to have a look at it for yourself which I'd certainly recommend you go and do you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual but that's gonna be it for today I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next until that time thank you you for watching and as always have a good one